children we are studying simultaneous linear equation in two variables and we are learning to solve the equation in by different methods so we are now learning method of cross multiplication so i am taking up this question first i have written over here the first thing you do is write your question in standard form of linear equation standard form of linear equation means everything on one of the side always there should be zero that means 3x minus 2y 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 is given so you bring 12 this side so 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to zero so this is a standard form similarly you have to bring this one it is after equal to so you bring this side so 2x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now also remember coefficient of x is called a, coefficient of y b and coefficient of constant is c. So since there are two equations I have named a1 b1 and c1 for this and a2 b2 and c2. Also remember if there is no coefficient that means there is 1 over there. And also coefficient means the sign should be taken into consideration. Now let us start telling a1 value will be 3, b1 value will be 2 and c1 will be minus 12 a2 value will be 2, b2 value will be minus 1 since nothing is there so minus 1 with the sign and c2 will be minus 1 so on. So then you remember uh, uh, an order of b c a b. So write your numbers in this form b c a b for this one b c a and b now for th that also so b so minus 1 c again minus 1 a is 2 and b is minus 1 now it will become very simple multiply this 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 12 ones are 12 both sign negative so it will be plus minus 12 into 2 is minus 24 now this will be how much is this let us see you remove minus 1 from here then it will be uh, minus 3 all right now what will happen let us see uh, so we multiplied this way this way this way now we are going this way 3 one, so minus 3 into to the 4 so we are getting minus 7. Now we solve this x minus 12 and so this is minus 14. y will be minus 24 and plus 3 is minus 21. And here it will be minus 7. Now suppose I have to get x. So x and the constant comes. So here it will be x minus 14 is equal to 1 and minus 7 so this negative and negative goes so x is equal to 14 by 7 that is 2 then we take y so y is equal to 21 by 7 that is 3 so x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 will satisfy that equation we can check x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so 3 2 is a 6 and 2 3 is a 6 12 that's right 2 2 is a 4 minus 3 is 1. Correct. So we get that and now we move on to the second question. We will bring it now. Let us get involved. So we know this now. So we go a little faster. Uh, we try to do which one should we do? We do this one. Now we write it in nice way. We write 5x plus 2y minus 19 is equal to 0 and 3x plus y minus 11 is equal to 0. These are the two equations. So I write first b, c, a and b. b, c, a and b. So I've written it nicely. Now b means nothing is there. So plus 1 minus 11 is c, a is 3 and then again plus 1. Now so minus 22. So I multiply this. I always top to bottom is x and bottom to top is y now 57 55 5 6 so right there we go 
so x minus 22 minus 22 and plus 90 will be 19 will be 3 minus 3 I suppose yes and then minus 57 plus 52 will be minus 2 and y this will become minus 1 so when you solve this x minus 3 is equal to minus 1 so x will be equal to 3 and y will be equal to 2 that's sure so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 let us try to put over here 5 3 is a 15 4 19 5 uh, 3 3 is a 9 and 2 11 so that's all it's easy rewind zoom a part which you want to see if you are using the mobile app and just stay tuned we get back to you soon this is first first other concept and there are slight variation in solving some of the problems that you can always use your textbook and see if there is a little difference we will go to the word problems and graphical equations in next few days thank you